Hey guys, and welcome back to the Tiny Takeover, where I'm your girl Tiny, and today we're going to be discussing my first six months on YouTube. I made it, guys. Yes, I made it six whole months on YouTube, and I have learned a lot. It's been a very interesting learning experience. I mean, guys, I went from being behind the scenes, running daycares, to nursing, where, you know, you're just going on, you know, robot fuel, to actually going on YouTube and putting myself out there for social media, and I figured this now would be a perfect time to show you guys want to learn for all you new youtubers out there who are going through it just like me to get ourselves up to where we want to get to and the things that we need to do to stay there so guys if you haven't done so already don't forget to like comment subscribe at the bottom and let's get started my first six months on YouTube and I'm doing this video because I know there are new YouTubers out there just like me who maybe started during the pandemic and you saw that you know now is a perfect time for me to put myself out there and see what I have to offer the world so for a few of you guys out there who are just like me stay tuned so we can go over our trials and tribulations well my trials and tribulations with YouTube what I've learned and how I intend to grow more so one major thing that I learned with being on YouTube for six months is confidence. My first month on YouTube was so nerve wracking. When I say I didn't have a Facebook page, I didn't have an Instagram, I could not even imagine myself in front of a camera talking to people or even talking to myself and putting myself out there. But YouTube really forced me to get really comfortable with myself. I have to take a deep look into myself and say, you know, Tanya, why do you feel like this person can do it better than you or this person could be more successful than you or maybe this person is like skinnier than you I had to really take a look at myself and I realized that my confidence was lacking I was always comparing myself to others I was always saying you know I'm too fat too skinny too this too that and I actually stopped myself I call it like self-limiting ideas you have these self-limiting ideas in your head because you're looking on these social media platforms with these girls who have you know you know they have work done they go to the gym and that's fine that's cool I'm not here to judge but you know not all of us are like that some of us are just regular average girls or women who wake up put their shoes on like the rest of us go to work like the rest of us hustle like the rest of us and we don't have time for that and those are the people I'm trying to reach because not every woman or every person fits into a box and that's what I had to learn I had to learn that through having confidence in myself loving myself I was able to see that that there are other people like me and those are the people who will connect with me and will grow together as a community as friends as you know just an alliance together and that's what YouTube taught me I wouldn't regret doing YouTube I mean there were plenty of times where I honestly I wanted to quit I'm, not, I'm gonna be honest with you I wanted to quit I felt like nobody's watching nobody cares maybe my personality isn't what somebody's looking for but I went through that honestly all throughout high school and elementary school and at this age I'm like you know what? I'm gonna be confident in my skin I'm gonna do what I need to do and I don't care if I put myself out for the world to see I'm gonna do that so definitely my first six months on YouTube taught me confidence in you know taking pictures putting yourself out there networking you know I go up to people now and I'm like you know what? I have a YouTube channel I have a YouTube channel whereas the first you know three months I wouldn't tell anybody I didn't tell my parents I didn't tell anybody so just putting myself out there allowed me to have more confidence and YouTube definitely helped with that the second thing I learned while being on YouTube for six months is the tech stuff. The tech stuff will forever be my thorn in my side because I, guys, I, I still have my Android phone, I work my HP, and I'm comfortable with that. I am not very techy, and learning those kind of things are very, you know, like slow for me. I'm getting it, but you know, it's a little slow for me, I can admit it. So the tech stuff is what really got to me. It was like learning how to do thumbnails. I was doing thumbnails through programs like Canva and just watching a lot of other YouTubers who were going through it, who, who started off just 
just where I was or well just where I am and are growing so I watched a lot of youtubers like Katherine Manning who you know blew up overnight Kelly Stamps just you know new youtubers who are going through it and had the success in a matter of months or years and learning the tech stuff is what really kind of deterred me from YouTube in the first place learning how to edit learning how to do thumbnails learning SEO and keywords and just normal things and I think with YouTube it's very good to educate yourself now I myself use TubeBuddy and TubeBuddy is a very excellent program for those of us who don't know anything about SEO or keywords beginner friendly and that's what I loved about it it really taught me a lot when it came to keywords and what people are searching for so I would definitely suggest that you get educated on YouTube you have to be educated in what you're putting yourself out there to do whether it's full-time part-time everybody's in YouTube because eventually you want to make an income out of it so with any job you have to do training you have to do research you have to learn your skill right I don't feel YouTube as a competition I think there's room for everybody in this platform it's all about helping one another because there's some things when I came in I did not know at all I was learning straight from scratch there was nobody around me who was even doing or thinking about YouTube and when I told them I was doing YouTube I got the side eye like Tanya girl you don't have nothing else to do than to put yourself out there but the reception after that has been amazing and learning the tech stuff is a very major key make sure you stay educated on exactly you know what's changing with YouTube this YouTube algorithm that I still don't even understand I don't think anybody will ever understand this algorithm but just getting yourself educated and getting better at your craft the next tip I would say is to do your research. It's one of those jobs where you have to be self-sufficient and you determine how well you do or you're, whether you fail in it or whether you're successful in it. So make sure that you're doing research like SEO, finding out about keywords, what programs would help you with, with ranking your videos to the highest level that it can be. Um, it takes time and it takes work. YouTube is not something that you can just turn on and just go. There's a lot of background stories because as soon as you're finished recording that video, you have to edit it, you have to find SEO for it. You have to find the keyword, optimize it. I don't even know what words I'm talking about right now because I'm still learning. But there's, there's a plethora of people who are wonderful on YouTube who are very helpful with YouTubers like myself and like you that we can go to for resources. And I will definitely link them down below, ones that I really like or enjoyed or used and learned from. But YouTube is something that you have to you're constantly learning until you get to that point where you feel like you know it all and then the algorithm changes and you gotta learn it all over again. So so make sure that you're putting in the work and learning and taking time to learn how to get better and how to get better at your craft because that determines how successful you're going to be at the end. My next tip is to not to stress the small stuff. Okay, so I have a story for you guys. About a month ago, I was feeling really motivated. I said, you know what, I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna record just five videos all at once. I had my camera set up, I changed my clothes five times, I was doing my hair, I was doing my makeup, I was really talking to the camera. When I was talking to the camera guys, I was using, like, I was being funny, I was hilarious, I was really showing personality, I was so proud of myself. Went to go and play back the recording and no sound. All you so is this like seriously I was so upset that day I was like you know what I think I might actually quit YouTube and then the next day I was like no I'm not stopping I'm not stopping because guys there's always gonna be that time where things just don't work out there's so many times I go to take my camera somewhere to vlog and I just I don't know I just forget to finish the vlog or I forget to like start the vlog I mean there's so many different things that happen because at the end of the day on the end of this camera there's somebody who's human and they make mistakes and they're learning just like you and I think that's a the best part of YouTube is that you're watching people's reality, you're watching people's growth in their lives and realizing that, you know, they're all just human, we're all just human. So my biggest tip would be to just roll with the punches. It's gonna happen, there's gonna be days where everything seems to go wrong, you're spilling stuff, you drop your camera, you can't find your SD card, your lighting's not working, you record a whole video on silent. I mean, it happens, but we go with it, we roll with the punches, because at the end of the day, this is what you wanna do, right? You wanna start a YouTube
YouTube channel. So don't sweat the small stuff, guys. It will pass. You know, cry about it in your corner, pout for a little bit, and then get over it and start recording that next day. So with YouTube, with any craft or skill that you're learning, there's always gonna be bloopers. There's always gonna be times where you just can't get it right. And just some things that I learned along the way. Definitely lighting. I used to do my videos in the daytime and I would get a lot of, you know, the clouds going in and out, changing my complexion, washing out like my background or my skin tone. So I did purchase like lights that I do use because when I film, I film in the morning, I film in the night, I film, you know, when I'm not tired. I film anytime where I feel like I have something to say, I turn on the camera and I get going, okay? so. So don't let lighting or anything like that stop you and of course with YouTube or anything else that you're learning it's gonna be an investment invest in your skill invest in your craft so that you can get better that's the whole point of this is to get better I mean I know in the beginning when I first started my YouTube channels if you can see back from my beginning YouTube channels it was dark I was moving the camera way too much I would watch back my own videos and get dizzy and feel nauseous like girl keep your camera still but these are all learning curves that you learn along the way and you can have all of the equipment in the world or you can just record on your iPhone but ultimately it's what you have to give and what you have to put out what makes your YouTube channel so I definitely went through some trials and tribulations and you know I'm sure a few of you have too so definitely what I learned from YouTube is to be resilient get past it you know that was yesterday let's go into today because we're gonna try this over again okay the next thing I learned with YouTube is to always have a schedule put yourself on kind of like a schedule I know some people are still working full-time or part-time or whatever you're doing to always put yourself on a schedule remember YouTube is just like any other career or job that you're starting you still have to leave time for yourself for your life you know for family to do just the necessary things that you do and when I first started I felt like everything had to be recorded but I realized that you know although this is my life it's not a reality show you know I still have to wake up get dressed I still have things to do I still have you know my needs to get ready so I just had to remember to just balance my life balance everything that I had to do because you'll be so busy trying to grab the camera and get this or try to you know do this that you'll forget to actually enjoy the moment there's plenty of times where I'll be having you know something at the house and I'm like I'm so busy recording that I miss you know what everybody's laughing about or everybody's smiling about or you know I just miss the inside joke because I'm so busy trying to make sure that I'm right for YouTube and that's not always your fault I mean that's not per se YouTube's fault because I think the reality of it comes with the bloopers and the mistakes and the accents and watching me you know spill everything all over the floor or watching me you know spill you know people who are watching YouTube don't expect you to be perfect you don't have to be perfect just remember to schedule your time and yourself make time for yourself you know have a day that you're doing only editing have a day that you're filming and you try to put out maybe two or three videos so on Mondays I'll try to put out maybe a finance video or Wednesday I'll try to put out you know like a how-to video and by Friday I'll try to put out like a vlog like try to put yourself on a schedule and this is something that I'm learning as well I come from working about for myself for so long that I didn't have to put myself on a schedule I didn't have to clock into a nine to five so I wasn't used to putting myself back on a schedule like when I was working in the hospital so now it's just something that I'm learning I figured I could pass that on to my fellow new youtubers because that's one thing I'm working on having a day that I schedule a day that I film a day that I edit a day that I shoot my content for social media or Facebook or whatever it is because it gets a little overwhelming and I think that's what adds to the fear or that saying you know I'm just gonna quit and that's why a lot of new youtubers or people who start YouTube channels they'll leave for a year and come back when their mind is right or they'll leave for a month or two months because they didn't expect all this work and I think the problem is, is that you're going into it all at once and stop and not putting yourself on a schedule so that's something that I actually learned to you know balance my life balance the schedule and I'm still working at it guys you'll see a video you know one week I'll have two videos one week I'll have three one week I'll have one because I just have to get myself scheduled and myself balanced and I'm working on it but these are just things that I'm learning as I go along and I felt that I can share with you guys the next thing I learned in my first six months of having a YouTube channel is you never realize how much clothes you need or you don't have until you start a channel now my first month in YouTube 
well, my first week in YouTube, let me get that straight. My first week in YouTube, I realized I don't have that many shirts. So I did my little shopping. I did my little, you know, buying some cute shirts, recorded in them, and I'm like, okay, well, I can't wear this again. So with YouTube, my biggest suggestion is grab some basics. If you're doing like um, a lot of sit down videos like I do, or, you know, just out and about videos, buy a lot of basic shirts. Um, I stay with neutrals. I'll eventually do a color, but usually I do with black, gray, nudes. I'll change up the earrings I'll change up like accessories so that you don't have to keep buying 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 and then realizing that you already recorded it and you can't use it again um, I'm the kind of person I don't really like to be in the same outfits of course I have my favorites and guys please trust and believe when this camera is not on I have my sweatsuits my sweatshirt on you know my hair is up and I am just looking regular this makeup comes off and I'm on the couch relaxing okay but once you press play and you're starting a YouTube channel you have to realize that your clothes have to be be, you know iron make sure they're ironed because there's a few videos in the beginning where I had they weren't even iron I'm looking like it like Tanya come on get this together so make sure that you're going out buying basics I go to places like H&M they have a lot of basics that are under $10 or um, of course Fashion Nova I like to go to and just basic places even Old Navy Old Navy has basic shirts that you could dress up put a like a layered chain on some hoop earrings and you are good to go so make sure when you're ready to record your film or your video make sure you have an idea of what you want it to look like what you want your background to look like I invested a lot into my background um, making sure that it was aesthetically pleasing um, I like neutral colors I like you know basic grays blacks white it's just something that I can change up if I want to add a color to I add a few flowers or pictures I can always change that up but I say basic neutrals in my background don't stress too much if you don't have a background that is you know aesthetically pleasing make make do what you have if you're in your living room get a corner clean up that corner and put some plants and you are good to go make sure you watch the first one make sure you're centered make sure that um, it has sound okay and make sure that you know you're buying little basic shirts and things and just switching it up don't spend a fortune on clothes because I did that the first month and it was for what for what to just sit in my closet because right now if I went in my closet I would tell you I don't have nothing to wear just make sure you're buying basic switching it up your background make sure it's aesthetically pleasing they have the um the backdrop you can even buy a backdrop for 20 bucks on Amazon or find a place just a corner in your living room you'd be surprised once you see the area that someone's filming in how how regular it looks how basic it can be uh, another great trick I got was if you're having like a lot of echoing in my bedroom I have furniture but I don't have a lot of furniture I hate clutter so what I did was I'll put like little blankets or carpet down because I don't have carpet in my room I'll put blankets down just to absorb some of the sound and the echoing so yes just make sure that you're researching finding things that you know little tips and tricks that we could learn from each other when we're doing our channel so that if I learn something I will definitely share with you guys and please comment down below let me know let me know what little tips and tricks you have as a new youtuber that you can share with the group <laughs> And we will go there we will prosper together guys because at the end of the day YouTube is not a competition I don't feel like anybody should be competing with each other it's a big platform with millions and billions of people watch YouTube so we're not fighting for a space we're all here to support one another and I love that next tip is to take notes make sure before you even hit that record button that you have an idea of what you want to explain and write down little bullet points um every time I have one of these sit down videos I have a notebook right next to me that helps keep me on track because if I didn't have it guys I would be talking about anything and everything under the sun I mean I really feel like my audience are my friends so I'll just have you know a whole conversation and we'll be talking about anything that I'm supposed to so obviously always have notes so that you know exactly what you want to get across to your audience and what you want them to get out of each episode another thing that I struggled with is you know editing editing takes the longest it's so hard anybody who does editing knows that it takes hours you could do a video for an hour and record it and be done but that editing is gonna take you another six to seven hours maybe a day or two and you still won't get it the way you want but it's a skill that you have to learn and keep trying and striving towards so research you know you go to YouTube videos and see what other influencers did how they grew and how they got better at their craft what kind of um, thumbnails they're putting in what kind of titles they're using just things that you need to learn in order to 
to be better at your skill. I think you only get out as much as you put in. So you have to put in the work, guys. YouTube isn't just, you know, press the button and record and you're done. And then you gotta edit. You gotta, you know, get music for your videos to bring them alive. For my music, I personally use Thematic. Um, I think they have a great array of different music choices and I've just been working with it. I, you know, I like that you can't really get copyrighted for it. All you have to do is list it at the bottom just so that they know exactly who the artist was. And I would highly recommend them. Just little tips and tricks that I've learned along the way and I'm just as happy to share with you guys because I know there's somebody else out there. Yes, I have a little 400, I think 55 subscribers, but to me that is amazing because in life I don't know 450 people. So I am grateful that I even made it this far. So make sure that you're putting the effort in. You, you only get out what you put in, guys. So let's keep working, let's keep striving for it, and let's get those numbers. Last and final thing I learned from being in YouTube is to keep going and keep going, guys. We're not quitting just because, you know, you only have 100 subscribers or 455 subscribers or, you know, 700 or 1,000. We're gonna keep going, we're gonna keep going because all these big, huge YouTubers that have 100,000 subscribers and 500,000 subscribers, you know where they started off? With one subscriber. And that's what really keeps me going, keeps me motivated because I see these huge YouTubers who are doing it and I'm like, what is so different about them or their lives or how they're speaking, how they're um, interacting with their audience that I can do and that I could do better. But it's not that, it's that one has consistency and one kept going. One person gave up when the other person just, you know, dusted themselves off, when they sat there and recorded for three hours straight with no volume, they dusted themselves off and they kept going. So that's what really pushes me to keep going and keep striving towards what I want and that is to be an influencer, that is to be a full-time YouTuber and to give knowledge and give a home to people just like me who are, you know, starting a business, who need help starting their business, who just need help maintaining their lives or, you know, want to take a break from their own life just to watch mine. I'm fine with that too. So the main thing I learned is to keep going, not give up. Don't put yourself down. Don't compare yourself because girl, you got this, we got this, and we're going to go on and strive together. And I'm so happy I was able to do this video with you guys. I cannot wait to get to my thousand subscribers so that, you know, we can grow together. So, um, as always, guys, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe at the bottom, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!